Hello, welcome to the CEO DG and La YouTube channel. Do you like to learn five interesting and thought-provoking general knowledge and uh, current affairs related questions for dated uh, 28th September 2022? Here I am going to explain each question briefly. Are you ready? As a common rule, I am going to start. with the inspirational quote of the day by carol burnett as per carol burnett when you have a dream you have got to grab it and never let it go repeating when you have a dream you have got to grab it and never let go its meaning in hindi is जब आपका कोई सपना होता है तो आपको उसे पकड़ना होता है और कभी जाने नहीं देना है फिर दोहरा रहा हूँ जब आपका कोई सपना होता है तो आपको उसे पकड़ना होता है और कभी जाने नहीं देना है नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टुडेस इंटरेस्टिंग एंड अमेजिंग क्वेश्चंस। हियर You can see the first quiz question. Carlos Alcaraz became the youngest ever player to hold the number one rank in ATP rankings history, breaking whose record? Repeating the question. Carlos Alcaraz became the youngest ever player to hold the number one rank in ATP rankings history, breaking whose record? Here the options are Pete Sampras, Rafael Nadal, Leighton Hewitt, Boris Becker. Whom are you guessing? If your guess answer is uh, the third one, that is uh, Leighton Hewitt, uh, then you are right. Uh, I am adding some more interesting information about uh, Carlos Alcaraz. Carlos Alcaraz full name is uh, Carlos Alcaraz Grafia. He was born on 5th May 2003. He is a Spanish professional tennis player. He is currently ranked as the world number one singles player by the Association of Tennis Professionals, that is ATP, Association of Tennis Professionals. Alcaraz has won six ATP Tour singles titles, including. the 2022 US Open and the two Masters 1000 titles with the US Open win Alcaraz became the youngest ever men's world number 1 at 19 years 4 months and 6 days old breaking Leighton Hewitt's record he also became the first teenager in the Open era to top the men's rankings and the youngest men's US Open champion since uh, Pete Sampras in uh, 1990. So, Carlos Alcaraz became the youngest ever player to hold the number one rank in uh, ATP rankings history, breaking Leighton Hewitt record. So, I am clicking on third option, Leighton Hewitt. So that's how it came here. And moving to the second question. Hush Hush is uh, an Amazon Prime web series that has which of these famous actresses playing in uh, a lead role? Repeating the question. Hush Hush is uh, an Amazon Prime web series that has which of these famous actresses playing in a lead role? Here the options are Juhi Chawla, Madhuri Dixit, Karishma Kapoor, Kareena Kapoor. Who are you guessing? If your guest answer is the first one, that is Juhi Chawla, then you are right. I am adding some more info. Hush Hush is an Indian Hindi language web series directed by Tanuja Chandra, Ashish Pandey and Kopal Naithani. and produced by under the banner 
Abundantia Entertainment. It is stars Juhi Chawla, Ayesha Julka, Soha Ali Khan, Karishma Thana, Sahana Goswami, and uh, Kritika Karma in the lead roles. The series is uh, set to release on 22nd September 2022 on Amazon Prime Video. So, Hush Hush is uh, an Amazon Prime web series that has Juhi Chawla actors playing in uh, a lead role. So, I am clicking on first option Juhi Chawla. So, that side came here and moving to the third question. This place in West Bengal is uh, famous for tea. However, nearly half of the tea estates here are uh, up for sale. Name the place. Repeating, this place in West Bengal is famous for tea. However, nearly half of the tea estates here are up for sale. Name the place. Here the options are uh, Siliguri, Darjeeling, Kalimpong, Durgapur. Which place are you guessing? If your guest answer is the second one that is uh, Darjeeling, then you are right. Uh, I am adding some interesting information. Darjeeling is uh, a town and municipality in uh, the northernmost region of uh, the Indian state of uh, West Bengal. In the early 19th century, during East India Company rule in India, Darjeeling was uh, identified as uh, a potential summer retreat uh, for uh, British officials, soldiers and their families. The place of in uh, West Bengal is famous for tea. However, nearly half of the tea assets here are uh, up for sale. The place is uh, Darjeeling. So, I am clicking on uh, second option, Darjeeling. So, that is it came here. And moving to the fourth question and also first image of today's questions. Look at the image. This bird is the do domesticated subspecies of which bird? Repeating the question. This bird is uh, the domesticated subspecies of which bird? Here the options are uh, Red jungle fowl, grey jungle fowl, green jungle fowl, Sri Lankan jungle fowl. Which fowl you are guessing? This is a chicken or a fowl. So, which is your answer? If your guest answer is a, the first one that is a red jungle fowl, then you are right. I am adding some more interesting information. The red jungle fowl. It is a Gallus Gallus. He is a, a tropical bird in a, the family Fasianidae. It ranges across much of Southeast Asia and parts of uh, South Asia. It was formerly known as uh, the Bankiva or uh, Bankiva fowl. It is the species that uh, gave rise to the chicken that is uh, Gallus Gallus domesticus. The grey jungle fowl, Sri Lankan jungle fowl and uh, green jungle fowl have also contributed genetic material to the gene pool of the chicken. Evidence from the molecular level derived from whole genome sequencing revealed that uh, the chicken was domesticated from red jungle fowl about uh, 8000 years ago. This is the interesting thing about uh, this question. So, this bird that means uh, fowl is uh, the domesticated subspecies of uh, red jungle fowl. So, I am clicking on first option red jungle fowl. Superb came here and moving to the final question and uh, second image of today's quiz questions. Look at the image. This animal is uh, in the quota farms of each political entity. Repeating the question, this animal is uh, in the quota of arms of which political entity? Here the options are uh, Nunavut, Norway, Murmansk Oblast, Greenland. Which one you are guessing? 
if your guest answer is uh, the fourth one that is the green land then you are right uh, and first of all what do you call this uh, animal this is nothing but uh, the polar bear so i am going to add some more interesting information about this uh, the polar bear that is uh, ursus maritimus is a hyper carnivorous bear whose native range lies largely within the arctic circle encompassing the arctic ocean its surrounding seas and surrounding land masses it is the largest extant bear species as well as the largest extant land carnivore do you know the male polar bear weight the adult male is called a boar b o a r boar a boar that is a adult male weighs around 350 to 700 kg that is a 772 1540 pounds historically the polar bear has also been known as the white bear the coat of arms of greenland is a blue shield charged with an upright polar bear this symbol was first introduced in the coat of arms of denmark in 1666 and it is still represented in the arms of the danish royal family so this animal that is the polar bear is in the coat of arms of greenland political entity i think most of your guest answers right keep learning enhance your wider dynamic learning skills by watching regularly with uh, these uh, dynamic thrilling interesting questions so greenland so that's why it came here dhanyawad thank you if you like this video do like subscribe and share see you in the next one bye bye